But as today, Alabama Governor Robert Bentley offered a $5,000 reward, leading to the arrest and conviction of whoever killed Hawaii Robinson. This action comes just 24 hours after the governor, in an interview with Local 15, made what some are calling insensitive comments about the Robinson case that has fueled conversations on social media. Now Alabama Senate Minority Leader Vivian Figures is demanding he apologize. Here's the comment that has her and a lot of people in the community so upset. One more question, and you touched upon the eight-year-old in Pritchard. What message will you send to people grieving right now in the area? And well, you know, there are things that happen we just don't understand. There, there are difficulties in families. Uh, we don't know if it's, uh, you know, you never know. It may be drug-related. It may be alcohol-related. It may be uh, a, a family problem. We just don't know what the situation is. Only thing that we can say is, is we need to do everything that we can to make families more sound, uh, to, uh, to help families survive and to thrive, uh, to, um, to, to really uh, just uh, reach out right now to those that are suffering and to the families that are going through this difficult problem. Well, today, Senator Figures, who represents Pritchard, sent a letter to the governor. Here's a part of it. She said, on behalf of her family and this entire community, I am demanding that you make a public apology for the comments you made yesterday. All of us are outraged and offended. The governor's office today said his comments were taken out of context, saying he was referring to domestic violence, not the Robinson case. Today, Bentley released this video. It's such a tragedy to lose a child, and, and we're so saddened by a little Hawaii Robinson. We also uh, have talked today to the grandmother. Uh, I reached out to the family, was able to talk to the grandmother, and, and we told her of the sadness that, that we share with them in, in the loss of this sweet child. Well, to see the governor's entire unedited interview with Local 15 following yesterday's manufacturers meeting, go to our website. You will also find the governor's entire video message sent to Local 15 News today.